Hi everyone, this is Tony Franklin. Welcome to my 44 points, 44 game-changing strategies. When you're an offensive coordinator or head football coach, you're gonna end up with lots of people that you talk to who don't matter when it comes to whether or not you can win football games or not. You have to figure out who those people are and how to manipulate and how to maneuver around those people. For example, it might be the father of your starting quarterback and he's the best quarterback that you got and the father is a pain in the butt. You have to learn how to act like you're listening to the guy or you have to learn how to tell him, look, coaching your son, Here's what the deal is. I'm going to coach him. You're going to shut up. If you don't like that, go and play somewhere else. Take your son somewhere else. you got to learn how to deal with a superintendent, with a principal, a president of a booster club. And what you have to learn to do is how do I deal with these people as human beings and still reach and attain my goals? And then sometimes, if you're an offensive coordinator, I've had to do this many times. As a matter of fact, most of the time in my career, which is to learn to how to ignore the head coach. Because the head coach always has great advice after a bad play. Sometimes he might have good advice. Uh, and if he has good advice, he should give it to you before a game, during a game, not after a play, not after something has gone wrong. So one of the biggest things you can do is be confident, be prepared, listen to people who matter. If somebody gives you good advice, I don't care if it's the equipment manager. If he walks up, he's got great advice, listen. If your wife has great advice, listen. If the head coach has crappy advice, don't listen. 